Welcome to part 2 of the Folk DC video series about Audacity, the free audio editor. Audacity works on most platforms. The screencast demonstrates the use of Audacity on a PC running on Windows Vista. In this episode, we get a little bit more into detail with recording. First, of course, you need a device to record audio. In most cases, you have at least one, the built-in microphone of your computer or laptop. Other devices, such as external microphones, headsets, electronic drums, keyboards, guitars, have to be connected to your PC, laptop or Mac. Now let's select the device for our recording. I select my USB microphone for this demonstration. By the way, if you want to record audio that is being played on your computer, for example audio from a video, select Stereo Mix. Before actually clicking on Record, I want to adjust the level of the input signal of my audio and click on Start Monitoring. What I want to achieve is a balance. The audio signal should be as strong as possible, but should not be clipped, which happens if it goes beyond a certain level. Watch the bar in the meter toolbar. If your input signal is too strong, pa! the right end of the bar turns red. Use the input volume slider to set the strength of your input signal at the optimum position, as strong as possible without clipping. I stop monitoring now and turn to the transport toolbar. This button is to start recording, this one stops it. Let's go! Old MacDonald had a farm, E-A-E-A-O. Audacity instantly produces the track of my recording and I give it the name Voice A. Let's add another one. Attention, please. In its default settings, Audacity enables what is called overdub. While recording a new track, Audacity plays already existing tracks. Since I want the two voices separated properly, I set the output device to my headset so my microphone doesn't hear the playback audio of the already existing track. OK, one, two, three, start. Old MacDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Again, Audacity produces the track and I name it Voice B. The third track I want to add to my project is already recorded and I only have to import it. Audacity is capable to import the most used file formats such as WAV and MP3. So I just go to File, Import, Audio, select the file and here it is added as the third track of my project. To listen to your tracks, you can use the transport toolbar, jump to the beginning, click on play, or set the cursor at any position of your track and press the spacebar. Or click into the timeline and Audacity starts instantly playing at that position. Let's not forget to save our project. Actually, you should save your projects frequently. OK, I hope this part of our tutorial helps you get started quickly with using Audacity for recording audio. In the next video, we will look at Audacity's capability to edit files. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll be watching the next video too. Get more information about our project at this website. Goodbye.